Hello, welcome to Chatting with Chitness. I'm Dr. Salil Chitness. I'm a pediatric emergency medicine physician, and we're going to be talking about pediatric medical education. We got a very exciting video, so let's get chatting. Welcome back to Chatting with Chitness, and today we're going to talk about transient synovitis, which basically uh, is a type of arthritis that kids get. It's going to be a swelling, inflammation of a joint. Um, and they usually get this um, after getting some viral infection. So if your kid was sick with a cold, uh, a couple weeks later, they'll get transient synovitis. It's kind of like their immune system kind of overreacts. Um, it could also just happen without a cold and they just had a virus and didn't have any symptoms of that virus. So a lot of times they see it in parents like they haven't been sick for months, but all of a sudden they have this um, transient synovitis. So how does it look? So usually, um, the number one thing you're going to notice is your kid's not going to be using a certain joint. So whether they're walking a little different, their gait has changed, their walks changed, or they're not using an arm. Um, and they're going to say that they have pain, you know, in their knee or their hip or their elbow. Sometimes you'll have a little swelling, um, of that joint, maybe a little redness. Um, but that's about it. Uh, the treatment for this is just going to be your main stays of ice, rest, and ibuprofen. Uh, transient synovitis is not dangerous. It goes away on its own. Once the immune system stops attacking its own joint, it resolves on its own. Now, there is another th arthritis called aseptic arthritis or aseptic joint, which is actually an emergency. And the problem is it kind of looks the same. Um, your kid's gonna have swelling of a joint. The way to tell the difference is with a septic arthritis, <clears throat> they're gonna have fever. They're not gonna use the joint at all. So if this is a hip or knee or ankle, they will not put weight on that leg. They will refuse to walk. If it's an arm, they will refuse to use it. Um, just moving that joint is gonna cause severe pain. Um, so those are the things to look out for. Uh, if you're worried about a septic joint, you, we usually get blood work to kind of tell the difference if it's a transient synovitis or a septic joint. But the key is that if your kid had a cold a couple weeks ago, they're still putting weight on it, they don't have a fever, they're still pretty happy, um, it's more likely a transient synovitis. Um, hope this video helps all you parents out there. Please leave any comments down below on what you want to chat about next time on Chatting with Chitness. I'm, 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 I'm,